Hey everyone, uh, Kaiser Soze Maximum Carnage here. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, uh, but I just came across a new attack style and uh, figured I would post it. I've been doing a little bit of testing. And basically, this attack is kind of a one size fits all attack where you don't have to worry too much about what style of base that you are attacking. Uh, there's a few simple deployment rules and some issues with placement when it comes down to, you know, where you want to attack from, that type of thing. But it's not a phased attack. It's pretty simple to follow, and it's been working well in testing, so I wanted to at least give everyone a chance to be able to see it. Uh, naturally, if you're in war, uh, there's a lot of Govaho attacks lately, some Hog attacks that are still uh, working. And with a few of the attacks, what ends up happening is that... Uh, some are high risk, especially the last war we had some issues uh, being able to get some solid high percentage two stars into three stars. We ended up doing okay overall and uh, cleaning up most of the bases. But just overall, for people who are having issues, uh, their confidence isn't high with some of the phased attacks and they're looking for a, a good loadout set of troops that work well on a lot of different style bases without having to worry too much about what phases and how many things to watch and get too caught up into a lot of scouting, um, this attack seems to work pretty well. So uh, this is an example already that's playing in the background. So I've been trying it with uh, some of Ronan and Sam's accounts. Ronan has a level 10 uh, queen and Sam has a level 15 queen. So certainly you don't need to have, you know, max heroes. Now I would advise against somebody trying this with maxed heroes. You don't want to go up against a total full maxed base with this attack necessarily. But if it's an anti-3 layout, even my 9.5 layout I put out, uh, and I got I think an 87% on it. So the great thing about this attack is it's very strong and it's simple to use and whether or not it's a compact base or an open base, the, the general plan remains the same and it's kind of simple and easy to follow. Um, and uh, kudos to Clash with Ash from the Red Elite Clan. He posted uh, the Jenny method. So there's somebody named Jenny that's in his clan who's been using this attack. So I started doing some testing with it today and it seems to be working well. So for any of our own clan members, if you're having an issue attacking, trying to worry about scouting too much or over scouting, overthinking what you need to do on bases, this may be a solid troop loadout. R legitimately, um, as long as you have, you know, m max healers and your Valks are up um, and your queen is over level 10, this is going to give you uh, an opportunity to have a shot at three-starring any of the Town Hall 9 bases. Um, and for a lot of people, that's what you'd be wanting to use, right? So let's get into a replay that will explain here as uh, what's going on. So first, we'll, we'll show a 99%. So this is the first hit, not really a scout. It was just a, an attack and drop. I'm just going to pause it for a second. So the basic thing, you can see his queen's been put in with four healers, and all you're wanting to do is put the queen in with four healers outside of the range of the crossbows. So you don't want the crossbows to hit her early because you don't have any rages, you'll notice, in this loadout. Without any rages, uh, she's going to go down. If she takes a lot of heat from a crossbow plus some other fire, she's going to go down quickly. The other thing is you don't want to put her in range of the clan castle right away. Uh, oftentimes with a queen walk, you want to be able to take and pop the clan castle. In this case, though, we don't. So you do have the queen's ability in case you get into trouble, but basically you just want to put her on one side uh, that is out of the range of the crossbows and she's going to basically just start clearing out space and by clearing out space she's going to create one part of the funnel now once we have that established i'm just going to pause again you can see two golems coming in now so the golems here are basically going to allow uh, the remainder of the troops to not only pop, pop hopefully and deal with the clan castle but also deal with the queen and some other things that are coming up so what you want to do here is put in two golems you want to spread them out to make sure that you can deal with the other part of the funnel because the top is already clear so basically you just want to clear somewhere down towards nine o'clock to make sure that everything's going to funnel in towards the base in the middle um, so the golems go down four whiz back up those golems to start clearing out the trash behind now once the golems are well established and on their way, you want to wall break in at a time that it's safe. 
So once that's done, you want to drop the Barbarian King, your clan castle, which has three max Valks in it, a Wiz and either a Wall Breaker or a couple Barbarians. But you want to deploy all of the Valkyries once that funnel's established to let them float into the base. And you know that the Royals are in there. So because the two Royals are in there, the Valks are going to aggro them for sure and be drawn in. And you have a much, much less likely chance of losing that funnel. So you can see everything's in there. The clan castle gets popped. This was just a test. So he's got giants, which doesn't mean, you know, they're not at all good clan castle troops to have in for defense. But for the purposes of how to deploy this attack, it'll work fine. So the jump goes in over a junction to open up uh, several avenues in the base, uh, followed immediately by a heal and a poison on whatever's in the clan castle. Hopefully your... Um, uh, the wizards that are there are going to do some damage to help you take out that clan castle along with the poison. And in the meantime, the rest of the Valkyries are running through the base. You keep them up with a heal. You want to jump on another junction to allow them to have access to as many of those compartments as possible while they're running around. And now you can see what we've got here left on the bottom. All the spells have been used. We've got the King's ability you want to be mindful of, the Queen's ability that you also want to be mindful of. If the Queen had have joined the attack and gotten in behind uh, all the Valkyries and walked towards 9 o'clock from 12 o'clock instead of towards 3 o'clock, I think this attack would have uh, turned out to be a 3-star. Um, but again, it's just a, a real example of what it is and the strength and the power behind this attack. So the two Wiz are just added to this group um, that's going to help uh, clear off some of this damage or some of the trash buildings I mean rather and the archer queen is just coming around the top you can see there's nothing that's going to take her out with those healers unfortunately she's just working a little bit slowly on the back end I was hopeful that these whiz would be able to take out the Tesla here once they got through the gold mine in the army camp but they kind of just proceeded onto that barracks and nobody made that turn so I'm just going to two exit here so we can see what happens at the end Wiz, they go down to that bomb. Queen takes them out. That Tesla ends up getting killed because of the explosive damage of the golem breaking, which is hilarious. And I just don't have that Queen's ability any longer because it's been used already. So I'm a couple of shots away from a three star here on a base that is uh, uh, much higher defensively. Generally, he wouldn't be uh, forced to attack that in war. So I'm going to show it again here. So, I'm going to actually return home, not on that one. Let's see this one. So this is Sam's old war base here for Ronan, and again, the plan is the same. Drop the queen, put four archer or four healers on the queen, as long as the ex-bows and the clan castle won't get popped by the queen, start establishing a funnel and just letting her go to work. So the queen is clearing out some trash, and that's what you want. So I'm going to pause it um, as soon as that goes down. So right here, again, a funnel. Basically, uh, once one area is clear, you can try to clear out another area, and the funnel is what exists between two areas that are clear that force the troop pathing into the middle of the base. All too often, people seem to think that funnels mean just put in a whole bunch of wizards, and they end up punching a hole, which is the opposite of a funnel. So this is one part, one side of the funnel has been created by the queen clearing out all these trash buildings here. So you can see she's taking some damage. It's only a level 10 queen and it's going up a level 50 up against the level 15 and 14. So two golems go down again to establish um, another part of a funnel. So, and you can see here that I know that the Wiz are going to be able to clear out enough with those wall breakers that those Valks are going to flood to the core. So here we've got some Valkyries that are in the clan castle and have also led and they've been drawn out by this golem up here at 3 o'clock. So it's a little bit more of a real world scenario naturally than having giants in the clan castle. But as we follow along here, so a jump, a heal, a poison has been put down. 
The Valks are doing some work in the core, and you can see, this is Ronan, my son actually is the one who did this attack. So instead of jumping out of the core, he kind of overlapped this second jump a little too close. He would have been much, much better putting it, say, on this mor mortar up here to give access to the entire upper end of compartments. But that didn't happen. And you can see, in the same way, four of the wizard have been deployed behind the golems. Two are still remaining. The spells now have all been used. And you can also see even the Valkyries here don't even go to that... Um, they use that jump to be able to break out of the core entirely and didn't even use the second heal. So the Queen has to... He's got to be watching that Queen. She's under pressure from that Tesla because the crossbow is firing at her. But looks like now the Tesla's gone, so she's back up. We're going to just two exit here. And he's being mindful, hopefully, of those two wizards just being put down in a place where some cleanup can happen, which is right on that upper archer, while it was distracted by the golem at the bottom. And we've got the queen coming up towards 12 o'clock, the Valks and the Barb King cleaning out the middle, and then all we have is the 9 o'clock and the 12 o'clock builder's huts to take care of, and it ends up being a three-star. Big dog, big shot, wants to join the clan. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to return home, show one more. Uh, do we have a Sam versus Ronan? All right, so the same thing holds true. Archer Queen is in a spot that the Expo cannot hit her. She just starts working on clearing out trash which again is part of the funnel because no troops are going to go in that direction because there's no buildings there. So two golems are placed on the other side. Better established funnel here. We'll just pause for one sec so you can see the trash is already cleared at the top. Trash is cleared down low. So these buildings right there are the breadcrumbs that will allow all the troops to flow into the middle. So that's what you really want to do. The wizards are taking care of it. The wall breakers go in when everything else is distracted. And now it's just a matter of waiting, because on this attack, um, Sam did not know what was in the clan castle. So a jump is put down. The Barb King behind it. So you can see the golems are still out front with some whiz. The Valkyries come in. A poison is put down for the clan castle, which consists of Valkyries and whiz. We'll put some air troops in there for better tests over a period of time, for a, a slight delay maybe in getting those Valkyries in. But you can see that the uh, two jumps are used to be able to make sure that uh, as much of the base as possible is opened up. The second heel is dropped down into a Tesla farm with some giant bombs. That worked out well. The healers have switched off of the queen and onto the golem. Uh, and some splash damage was healing up. Looks like they're switching over to that barb king. She has to use the ability right now in the archer queen. And again, that's just the way it is. Looks like she's going to lose the queen here in one sec. But the Valkyries, you can see, have done a tremendous amount of work. We've got two still full health golems, which is a lot of tanking. In some cases, it'll probably end up being too much tanking. Um, and you might be able to get away with only one golem. But when you have one golem, it ends up being a little bit more difficult sometimes to establish a funnel and not as big um, a room for error when it comes to getting the wall breakers in, etc. So again, in simplifying this attack and wanting to make it as uh, easy as possible, going with the two golems now who are taking the uh, healing from the healers itself, everything just comes around the outside and you can see it's an easy, uh, so many troops are left, uh, no problem whatsoever. The three star here, uh, Sam from Ronan. So this attack, right now we're just going to refer to it as Jenny. Um, and hopefully everyone who's having issues with um, three stars on Town Hall 9 can give it a shot because it seems to be, if you don't get the three star, a high percentage two is going to happen. So if you're in doubt, you don't have that much confidence, you're worried about the scout, or you don't have much time to scout, it seems like it's a good troop loadout that you can make before you even have to worry about scouting the base too much. And then you just might tweak it. You, you could put in a couple of minions instead of a wizard if you can have an e easy clearance on an army camp or something like that. Um, and then just let the power of those troops kind of go to work for you. The jumps and the heals with the Valkyries is the core of the attack. 
and the healers on the queen allow her to walk around and take out a lot of buildings and do a lot of damage for you and you're just basically setting up a, a funnel with two golems and a few whiz to draw that cc um and let the rest of the troops go to work over a period of time so it looks like a great attack i encourage everyone to give it a shot try it learn it test it do some friendly friendly challenges with it and uh, we'll give it a shot in a shot in war all right uh, kaiser soze maximum